Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I use Rider, and it will be a one month update on the software. So, the very first thing you want to do is log in and then go into your dashboard. And since I'm going to be creating a blog post, I'm going to go ahead and select blog ideas and outline. Okay, make sure this is the correct one is chosen because there's a whole bunch over here. All right. So from there I'm going to enter in my keyword. Let's see. Benefits oops. Of starting a blog. Then I'm just going to go right for me. Now I'm going to wait for it. And that's probably one of the hardest things about this whole software is just the waiting. But I'm going to leave it on so that you can see exactly how long it takes. And there you go. So it's generated the outline. Okay, this is this is blog idea and outline. So let me read it real quick. How to create an outstanding blog for your business the value of blogs for your business, what should be included in a higher level blog plan, follow these five steps to create a solid blog plan. And then it says conduct market analysis to understand customer problem and existing competition, define uh, target audience, customer segment, and ideal buyer persona. Oops, let me go to three. Write smart goals for better accountability and performance management. Four, analyze your tactics to come up with creative campaigns and ideas and strategies. Five, set, up, set your blogging budgets according to your business requirements, proven blog templates you can use immediately. And then finally, conclusion. Your business needs a blog today. And that's just the outline. So now, in order to expand it, you go ahead and just highlight it and click on paragraph. Okay. Then you wait for it. And the good thing about Writer is that it's a web-based software tool, so you don't need to install anything, and you can run it on your mobile device. So it's good for those who want to work remotely or who don't have a really powerful computer or don't want to buy um, you know, a Windows PC. All right, so let's read it real quick. The value of blogs for businesses. Blogging provides a great opportunity for businesses to build a community of readers, generate leads, and increase brand awareness. A blog is an online personal journal that functions as a website. They are also simply referred to as blogs. Blogs are typically used for political or social purposes, but they can also be used by businesses. A blog is usually updated with audio, video, or text entries, which are posted in reverse chronological orders, so newer posts appear at the top of the page. Blogs can be either public or private depending on who has access to the information within the post. A blog is often seen as having less formality than traditional content such as white papers and case studies. This means that blogs can be more engaging for readers and easier to consume since they come with shorter paragraphs and sentences. All right, that's just that's just one, you know, that's just one heading. And we keep going. Okay, so next one. What should be included in a high-level blog plan? Follow these five steps to create a solid blog plan. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and click this one and click paragraph and then wait for it to load. And there we go. It gives out a quick snippet. There are three things that a high-level blog plan should contain. These are topics and goals of the blogs who will be reading it. All right? And then follow these five steps, uh, five steps to create a solid blog plan. And then number one, conduct market analysis to understand customer's problem and existing competition. I'm going to go ahead and highlight that and then click paragraph. Now wait for it. And then it should be good to go. All right, there we go. I'm not going to keep reading this, but you know, I'm going to um, put this on my blog and then I'll send you a link so you can actually see the quality of this and you know judge for yourself because 
uh, like I mentioned earlier in my other videos, I don't like to recommend products that you know suck or just recommend products just to um, you know make a quick buck because my name stands behind it. And I, in the past, I used to buy products recommended by you know famous affiliate marketers only to get burned. Yeah, they said this product was great. It's good for beginners. It helped them make money. And then I buy it, and it's just like stuff you can find on the internet and just generic stuff. And then they want me to upgrade to their, you know, coaching or whatever. And I just feel like I bought like half a, half a course. So, you know, I don't do that. This is amazing for me. It, it's a game changer and saves me so much time. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and continue with this and show you from here on out exactly. Uh, what I do is just pretty much rinse and repeat. So I select this, I click paragraph, and then I wait for it. Oops. Sometimes it doesn't have. Sometimes it doesn't have anything. I'll try it again. And then wait for it. There you go. All right. So there are issues. Sometimes it doesn't come up with anything. All you have to do is delete it and uh, start again. Okay. And then. Let's move on to the next one. Paragraph. And then there we go. And then next one. Paragraph. Now if you don't like it or you want it to be written rewritten differently, you can always use the rephrase or improve options. Okay. And then one more, maybe two more. Paragraph. And then one more paragraph. Now, all in all, it took it, it takes me a few minutes. It took me a bit longer this time because I had to, you know, explain everything. But if I just went ahead and did this, it would take me just a few minutes and a few clicks. So, just looking at this, um, it it looks quite good. All right, so. Uh, it's 752 words within a few minutes. Uh, that, that's that's simply amazing. Okay, so the main question you're probably asking, and you know, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering, is how good is the quality? Like, what is the output? So it's readable. Okay. Yeah, but let's let's check the quality. So I'm gonna copy this, and I'm gonna put it into Grammarly software, right here. And this is a premium business edition, and I'm gonna give, I'm gonna paste it in here so you get an idea of the grammar, you get an idea of the clarity, you get an idea of the um, how how much of it is plagiarized. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep it in the neutral, like just everything in the standard settings so you can uh, get a feel for it. All right, All, audience knowledgeable, neutral, general, and then you can play around with this. But <clears throat> now, as you can see, this is straight from uh, writer okay and on the right is the overall score 80 oops 80 that's not too bad um, and of course you can go ahead and fix it and clear it up a bit but 80 straight out of the box is is pretty decent okay and it has a high engagement it has a uh, high delivery it's just a little bit of uh, you know un unclear it's not clear a little bit just a little bit and uh, all in all an 80 scores is quite good all right, now, if you were to hire uh, an outsourcer on Fiverr or uh, you know any other freelance site, I'm pretty sure, and this is from personal experience, you don't get an 80, you get like maybe a 60, okay, and you pay a lot more. Uh, this, you know, as you can see, it's a lot easier. You can customize it, and it's quite a high score. Now, let's check one more. What's the most important thing is uh, plagiarism, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and, and click that button. It's gonna search. And it's not a hundred percent, you know, plagiarism free. It only has, a, but it, you know, it's pretty decent. That means it's ninety-five percent unique. Okay, it only has a five percent plagiarism. And let me just hover over this so you can see. So it just says five percent of your text matches four fragments uh, from four sources on the web in academic databases. All right, so that that's that's quite acceptable. An eighty performance score when it comes to grammar and a five percent. Uh, sorry, 95% uniqueness or only a 5% plagiarism is is really, really outstanding. So uh, this is the one month um, <clears throat> update on Writer. And if you like this software 
and you want to help out the channel, I'm going to leave a link down below so you can go ahead and sign up for free. Uh, I'm Vince from Digital Nomad Institute, and if you found this video helpful, could you please hit the like button? Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.